Tom. Ooh. I guess that's how I'm starting this vlog. Welcome to a brand new week. Did you see that shot? No, I didn't see it. Oh. We're, we're here at Top Golf. I missed it. I missed it. I'm sorry, Donna. <laughs> Family's here. We got Patrick and Carabeth. Hello. Hey, God. My mother, my sister Rachel, my grandmother. I know, but what? Hi. And we got my father. Oh no! <laughs> so uh, we're enjoying some uh, some some top golf here for a couple hours. Uh, and I believe <laughs> it went nowhere. It went nowhere. We're enjoying uh, top golf here for a couple hours. We got a uh, this is our first round right now. Uh, Patrick, Carabeth, Donna, and I are on this one, and you can just kind of ignore my score there. Don't worry about it. No, no big deal. Uh, afterwards, we're probably going to be cleaning up around the house for Thanksgiving. Uh, I have to stream at some point, and then uh, and then we're going to be going to uh, I forgot the name of the place, Salt Lake. We're going to be going to Salt Lake, right? T was that today or tomorrow? No, I think we're doing that tomorrow. We're doing tomorrow. Okay. Well, Tom, it's up to you because mom said that you in the stream. Kirby Lane. Talked about, yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll probably end up going to Kirby Lane for for dinner tonight. Rachel, is it I have to stream later, so I, I don't really know what's going to be going. No. Oh, three pies. Yeah. Three pies. Three pies are being made. I'm making you one. Yeah. It'll be the kickoff to my cooking show. <laughs> well, Brendan, uh, my cousin Brendan had uh, had streams where he and uh, Holly would do uh, his uh, his, uh, his wife Holly would do uh, do cooking streams. Does he does he still do those? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I haven't really seen him stream that much lately. No. <laughs> no. Still having trouble, Donna. Let's see it. <laughs> I mean, it went in. That's like that's, that's that's much better than I've been doing in terms of score, at the very least. <laughs> she did it. Well, we played another round, and I was going to record that I did better, but somebody decided to re reset the game before then. Bitter. No, he did. You did really well. Well, you also beat me. I don't know why you'd be bitter. 116. I had 118. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. Oh! Don't show my score. See proof. <laughs> See proof. Just edit out dot. There we go. <laughs> oh, you did fine. Everyone else is having a good time, too. Let's see how, let, let's see how Mom's shot goes here. Quite in, but still pretty accurate. From the, it, look, it looks like I just walked over into somebody else's bay to film them. Anyway, uh, I think we could probably get one more round. We're probably like, we, when time's up, it's just up, right? And then you can't play anymore. Okay. Just yeah, just to, yeah, just to finish the round and to get our food. We had um. Then on I shared the uh, shared pretzel bites, and uh, it came with these sauces. And the reason we kept it was because we ordered more food. They were really good. I like the uh, the, the beer cheese. You could definitely taste the beer in. PBR though. It was PBR. <laughs> but it's it, but it's, it's still there's a very it, it was it was Pabst Blue Ribbon. Yeah. Beer cheese. Classy. Classy beer cheese. The only way it could have been better if it was Natty Ice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Properly aged. <laughs> and we're getting uh, wings next and, uh, and some uh, vegetables and hummus. We have chips. I don't remember any of, any of us ordering chips. I have to bring them because the pitas are not gluten-free. Oh. Was it, uh, do you have an allergy or was it celiac? Celiac. It's, it's celiac, okay. Yeah. I can teach all your friends how to make gluten-free pie crust. <laughs> Be, uh, we'll be uh, we'll be getting the dirt on uh, on some uh, some some gluten free pie crust later. Yeah. Yes. Meanwhile, Patrick over here. Let's get a, let's get a good angle in terrible lighting.
<laughs> I mean, it went in. We're going to finish up our game here and then, uh, I don't know, go home. Everybody go home. Thanksgiving's over. It is Wednesday, and uh, after exposing Donna to my family unfiltered uh, this, uh, this morning, this morning we had, uh, we had pancakes for breakfast, now we're here at Ikea getting uh, plates and, and cups and whatnot that I, that I didn't have in order to feed my family for Thanksgiving. So we're currently walking around grabbing those now and just wandering around Ikea as well. We haven't really, we haven't really actually gotten to any of the, the areas that have plates or cups in them, have we? Not yet. We were talking about we would have been better to come in the exit because all that stuff is ready to be Yeah. So we're on the tour, the full tour. Might as, might as well take a look at, at you know stuff that I could furnish the house with. It is Thursday, or as uh, some people in the United States would say, Thanksgiving. Oh, that's what today is. Indeed. <laughs> I'm glad I could remind you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, last night after uh, after IKEA, I think came back here. You you and I took a nap. Yes. Sedan and I took a nap. Then we went to uh, Salt Lake for uh, for for dinner. That was really good. Salt was good. I think they enjoyed it. Everybody there did. It was good. Very, Very good. It was awesome. It was great. And we've had that on vlog before too. Yes, we have had that on vlog before. Mm -hmm. It was very delicious. But enough about barbecue because it's Thanksgiving and look at this spread. Some good-looking food right there. Don't forget the turkey. Ah, uh, yeah, and the turkey. Good. What is usually like the centerpiece to any Thanksgiving, but not everybody's favorite. So yeah, we're gonna be eating that. This morning we were gonna. Uh, I was gonna go to the the turkey trot, but I slept horribly last night. <laughs> Donna too. So uh, we ended up missing out on that. And uh, how how was the turkey trot, by the way? It was awesome. It was super fun. It was way hillier in Austin than I expected, <laughs> but it was very good. So. Yeah, not a, Texas isn't as flat as a, a lot of people say it is. Yeah. Is there butter out here? Oh, well, we are in hill country. Indeed, we are in hill country as well. <laughs> Mom's looking for butter. Uh, butter. But yeah, mm -hmm. butter. butter. Yep, butter, Texas. The uh, the great city of butter, Texas, or town, or whatever you want to call it. We're also watching the the Dallas Cowboys get uh, well, not wrecked but get uh get they're they're in the process of being beaten by buffalo we'll see <laughs> we'll all see no that should be i mean it's only it's only the beginning of the second half and they're only down by six so it's not it's not terrible anyway uh everyone's eagerly standing around the counter waiting to get their uh their food on so i think we'll be eating our thanksgiving dinner now so we just finished eating dinner and uh i guess carabeth and donna did something to make one of the pies a little bit. Oh my God! Isn't that great? I I am a pie. <laughs> that, that's hilarious. It's also really well done. It is. Well, it is. Is that made just with the crust, or is there some is some of that apple too? Just with no, the crust. Just crust. Apple underneath it. Mm -hmm. It turned out really well after baking it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You Good Lord. Know, really, you don't really know. Really. Also, I don't think I ever mentioned that this table extends to seat more people. I think like I could normally seat like six, and uh, it could probably seat. It could probably seat ten, honestly, depending on how spread it out you want to be. Right. But yeah. It's very comfortable. I am. I am a pie. That's adorable. I'm going to eat me. <laughs> she said grab the gra gra grab the lung, mom. Th this one? Yeah. Grab it. Yeah. Take it out. It's in the way. All right. Move it up. Well, no, <laughs> just just drop it on the floor. You don't need it. Oh, all, all you gotta do is is get the heart uh, is get the heart in the new heart oh, in there. Wait. All right. She's trying to be respectful. <laughs> I am. It's like I'm really in surgery. She's a good All doctor. right, so good you have access to the the heart, but there's a you have to you have to get the you have to get the yeah. esophagus out of the way first. All right, is that that purple thing? No, the esophagus is the pink is the pink tube. Oh, right. So okay, so you can't pull it out. What could you use to get it out of there? Oh, uh, let me see. I got there's got to be two more steps. There's there's more uh, there's there's more uh, tools on the other side. Well, underneath the, the lung, underneath right. the lung, there's some scalpels. Oh, you just want me to cut it off? Yes. Careful, because this is where this is where uh, surgery gets tricky. You're, okay, so you've already disconnected it, but now you gotta go. For, you gotta go for the top. You gotta have to, you have to oh. go for the for the top of that so you can pull it out. I'm so nope, nope. That my will not up further, up further. Do you see? Do you see where? Do you see the discoloration but at the top there? Here. There you go. You got it. Check his vitals. Now pull Check it out. His vitals, Mom. You 
trying to pick it up. No, I love Go it. a little bit higher then. Move the hand a little higher. Oh, you, yep. Oh god. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Bright side. The other one. Uh, uh, good, good news. Good news. The other one went too. You don't. Get, you don't have to worry. You, no, you don't, no, 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 no. Keep the lung out. Keep the lung out. You're fine. Okay. Check his vitals. Check his vitals. Okay. You're you're still stable here. Okay. So now you got to cut the arteries that connect the heart to him. All right, Thomas. This? So look, look, look for where like the seams are on, on the on the arteries there to cut. Um, you just whoops. Oh, whoops. Whoops. oh, check his vitals. Check his vitals. Check his, check his vitals. vitals. Four four oh, million no, per he's second. Losing. Boy, he's tough. Come on. Okay, you got you got it. You got you got that. No, no, no. Keep keep holding on to it because there's still some other arteries you got to cut. You see that? You see where the seam there on on that? There you go. Okay, now take the heart out. Okay. So okay. So now, okay. Op so okay. So open the uh, the turn turn towards where the bone saw was. Back to the bones where the bone saw was. Do you see the container there? On the table. Nope. The, the, oh, no, it's oh, a container. Oh, the, the, okay. Open that up. All right. Grab the heart and put it in, put it in. Well, be careful. Okay. Oh, mom, that's a live heart. <laughs> oh. Okay. Re re try, reach above it, mom. Like over it. Like try to reach over it. There you go. You got it. Put it in the chest. You do not have to be delicate with this guy at all. Okay. There you go. You won. Okay, you, you got it. Wait, what was this? Oh, look at the clipboard. Look what at the clipboard. This, what was your looks score? Looks fine to me. I'm sure I'll live. Do that, Rachel. Do the clipboard. It's not like I should be able to get this, though, to be, like, connected. No, that's fine. It is Friday. After, uh, after watching my mother play, uh, play VR games, my sister tried. It got a sore back because we played Top Golf. Trust me, top golf can make your back really sore. Mine's been sore this whole time. It's really... <laughs> It's really pathetic. <laughs> so then after that, my parents uh, my parents left to go uh, back to their hotel. And then they left this morning because I didn't get a chance to see them. So we said our goodbyes there. And then uh, today, it, it being after Thanksgiving, uh, my brother decided uh, decided to be a good idea to put on Christmas stuff. Specifically Muppets Christmas stuff. Because we watched a Muppet Family Christmas and, uh, and a Muppet Christmas Carol. And both those are really good movies. But it was just... My, my brother's got a weird obsession with Muppets. <laughs> I love Muppets too. I think they're hilarious. Yeah, they're so good. They're they're, they're good. So then uh, after after uh, you know all the Muppety goodness, uh, we sent them on their way. We we drove them to the uh, the airport, uh, and uh, they're probably not quite home yet. We dropped off at like I think their flight was at like five thirty. It's like six twenty now. Um, and then uh, we went to uh, Pet Smart to get uh, to get Baxter to sign. We got him some some food. Uh, is like more suited to his, to his age group, and then uh, we also got him a sweater. I would show it, but he's holed up tight in his uh, in his little his little fortress of solitude there. It has little foxes on it and a little hood with ears. It's so cute. I'll, I'll hopefully he'll come out at some point. I'll be able to to share a little bit of video with him, or he's just going to be secluded the entire time. Who knows? <laughs> he better come out because he has to go to the bathroom at some point probably. We'll get him out. Yep. <laughs> Anyway, uh, now uh, we're just we had we had dinner of what else Thanksgiving leftovers, and now Donna's playing uh, Pokemon Shield. Yes, for the first time, I'm about to get my first Pokemon. And she's about to get her her first Pokemon. What was the last Pokemon game you played? Um, I think it was X and Y, maybe. It's not bad. I feel like because I, I when you when you had said like that it had been a long time since you played a Pokemon game, I thought you meant like since like. Game Boy Advance days or something. Oh, not that long. Um, maybe it was maybe it was Sun and Moon. It was one of them that I started but didn't keep going. Yeah. So I think Sun and Moon. I think I've got pretty far in the sun. Well, go ahead, Donna. No. Choose your Pokemon. But they're all so cute. I love all of them. <laughs> okay. Well, what's she gonna choose? Okay. Well, I really love this guy because he's so adorable. The monkey. Oh, and then Little Sobble. Ever. But I already have my heart set. Oh, the Bird Bunny. Bird Bunny! Yes! I always start with the fiery types. So you always start with the fire types? Yes. I switch. I switch generally. Um, I think normally when I play, I'll choose... Yeah, like I, from Gen 1 I went grass, and then Gen 2 I went fire and then gen 3 i went water and i kept going down like that and it kind of like got mixed up oh, yeah, in the yeah. past like We've few generations yeah. yeah i chose scorebunny donna chose scorebunny 
It is Saturday. Last night, uh, after you know, all said and done with uh, with Donna playing Pokemon, I uh, I streamed some. Streamed a bit of. Uh, I'll turn away from the sun so you guys aren't getting the blast of that. Streamed a bit of Death Road to Canada. Then came back downstairs and watched Donna beat Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I did. Yep. <laughs> and now we're here at the uh, Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. We're up on uh, what was this called? The San Antonio Tower. San Antonio Lady Bird San Antonio Tower. Yeah. Fancy. It's really nice up here. It's a Texas castle. It's a yeah, a, a veritable Texas castle with all the all the the cacti here, including but not limited to the little nipple cactus. It's my favorite. That's Donna's favorite. <laughs> Donna's favorite being the little nipple cactus. There's another one right here. This is even a, it's an even littler a, 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 one. <laughs> an even literal littler nipple cactus. <laughs> Oh boy, we are mature, aren't we? This is, but this one's cool too. Look at it. It's like a little the horse crippler. The, uh, the, I can see why it's called the horse crippler. Mm. Looks like it has aliens all over it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Latch onto your face. Anyway, after uh, after we finish up here, I plan on streaming some more, and then we're gonna go see uh, the uh, Mr. Rogers movie. What was it called? It's just called uh, "Won't You Be My Neighbor." I think so. Yeah, the one starring Tom Hanks, and we'll uh, I'll let you know how that is. It is Monday, um, and Donna's already gone home to uh, to her uh, apartment in Frisco, so she's not here to share her thoughts on uh, on the Mr. Rogers movie, which, by the way, is called A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. It wasn't called Won't You Be My Neighbor. I think Won't You Be My Neighbor was a uh, was a documentary on Mr. Rogers, which is still really good. Like I recommend seeing you know both the the Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood and Won't You Be My Neighbor. The, both the documentary and like the drama dramatized this uh, the the uh, a beautiful day in the neighborhood was a uh, dramatized um, uh, story about uh, like an article in a magazine I can't remember exactly the name of the the writer of the article but it was between a uh, uh, a friendship that grew between uh, a magazine author named Lloyd Vogel and um, and Mister Rogers and it was it was really good like it it goes into a lot about like you know because the whole premise is that like Lloyd is like the kind of uh, magazine writer who tries to like uh, dig up dirt on not really dig up dirt but like as he interviews them he kind of gets like a like a like a sort of a negative sense as to who they are and writes you know fairly like damning and exposing pieces about people but um, when it came to like Mister Rogers it was like he was you know too pure for any of that like it was you know. You know, it was something that he had never encountered before, and it, you know, it slowly turns into like a, a um, uh, like a blossoming friendship between the two. And uh, there's one really, really powerful scene um, where I'm not gonna like spoil exactly what happens in it in case y'all want to see it, but it is it takes place in a Chinese food restaurant, and I'll leave it at that. Like it's it's a great scene. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I liked it. You know, I, I don't think it's one of those, like, I don't think it's really one of those, like, cinematic masterpieces, but it, it encapsulates everything that was Mr. Rogers really well. And also, like, in the face of, like, um, you know, certain adverse... I wouldn't really call it adversity, because he handles the situation with L Lloyd basically trying to, like, talk him, you know, out of, like, you know, secrets and whatnot fairly well. But it's, it's still, like... Uh, um, you know, it's still like a really nice movie that kind of like encapsulates who Mr. Rogers was. Tom Hanks does a really good job as Mr. Rogers. And a lot of it is like, is, um, sort of, um, I'm trying to think of the word for it. It's, it's structured like it's a full episode of, uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, where it starts off with like Tom Hanks walking in, you know, singing the song, putting on the cardigan, sitting down, showing like photos of all the people in his life, and then showing Lloyd, and like all of the transitions between locations. Uh, happen on like the model set that uh, you know would be on you know the Mr. Rogers neighborhood so it was it was you know from like you know f like little references like that and just like how good the story was I, I liked it a lot but anyway after that uh, on uh, well earlier today actually um, Donna and I went to uh, the I looked this up on the computer because I can never remember the name of it <laughs> Blanton Museum of Art at the University of Texas, and uh, that was that was really great. Uh, they had an exhibit on like um, I think it was called like Myths, Monsters, and Aliens or something along those lines, and uh, the 
the whole thing was were these like original works, like these 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 tomes of like these different you know stories of um, and like beautiful depictions of uh, like uh, you know information on these these you know monsters and like myths and whatnot and and uh, and like stories of people like battling them. They had like a bunch of these different you know displays up of of the different like arts and even like. Uh, recreations of the uh, medium that they would use so like the the tomes the, like the tomes were printed on on leather like on like sheepskin or like calf skin or like things like that and all you know all the pigments you know i don't know how similar it is to now but like a lot of the pigments they used were basically just like ground up uh of whatever they could find that was like in, in that vibrant of color you know blue being one of the hardest ones to find that was you know made out of lapis lazuli that was a very that was a very unique experience uh, there, and we went and looked around at some of the other stuff. They had um, you know a European art exhibit, which ninety percent of it was all like portraits of like high powered figures. Uh, they had a Latin American exhibit, which is really good. They had they also had like some abstract exhibits that it's it's really beyond me because there's there were a couple that were just like there there was one that was just like they painted like around a frame they painted like around like the frame of the canvas left the, the middle of the canvas blank which you know i'm sure it represents something or it's like you know a lot of the pieces like that are generally left up to interpretation but and there's never really like one right answer but it's, it's just kind of weird they did a really good one in the um in sort of like the uh the the abstract sort of postmodern area where it was I don't remember the, the what stuck out to me most is that there were holes cut in the canvas, and when you looked at it from far away, it you know it, it had a much more like projecting three D effect on you. Uh, so there was that. I did mistake a, a painted metal panel on the wall for one of the uh, for one of the exhibits because one of them one of the uh, the exhibits in that area was just a blank white canvas. I don't think it was blank. I think it was painted over with like white paint, but it was essentially a blank white canvas. So. A lot of stuff that kind of went over my head. Anyway, uh, came back here, uh, had dinner, packed Donna up with uh, with all of her stuff and and with uh, with Baxter, and uh, they drove home. Now I'm here. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm ready to end the week. This Thanksgiving was well, it was one of the better ones I had to say the least. All my family came out. All my immediate family came out. My grandmother. Donna came up. She got to meet my family for the first time, and that was uh, that was uh, that was an experience. She got to see the 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 weirdness that was my uh, my my family. I think I recall her posting something along the Twitter uh, on, on Twitter something along the lines of first time meeting Tom's family." Conversation uh, diverts to best animals to hide a uh, to use to hide a, a a body. So there was that. Anyway, I had a good week. I hope you all did too, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.